Hi, my name is Yao Monfo. I'm a senior and a math major, and I'll be graduating very soon. So I want to talk to you guys about, um, I guess, being a person of color on campus. The first thing I noticed um, was the website. So I saw a lot of people of color on the website. Um, it was pretty exciting just because I was going to be around, be, be surrounded by um, a large group of uh, racially diverse individuals. Um, when I actually got here, uh, it wasn't necessarily the case. So, um, in a way, the website was a little bit, a little bit misleading. Um, but I mean, it was still, it was still a great experience um, to get to know a lot of different people. Um, not necessarily the diversity within race, but the diversity of minds around campus. So that was still, um, still interesting. Also, um, I want to talk to you about being a person of color in the classroom. So, me being a math major, I didn't find a lot of people of color within the classes, within my classes at least. Um, I was usually the only black guy or the only person of color within my classes. Um, it was pretty, pretty discouraging. Um, there were some times where I had to speak for my race and unfortunately, if a person of color coming to UNC Asheville, that may happen probably the first few semesters um, as you're here. Um, I don't know, maybe some students may ask you something like that, a teacher may ask you something like that, a professor may ask you uh, to speak for your race. That actually happened to my friend recently, unfortunately. Um, and also within the classrooms, I find that a lot of the pedagogy or the things that um, that's being taught to us is really Eurocentric. Um, for example, humanities, or a lot of people have expressed um, not necessarily the, the best, the best um, um, you know, the best things for Humanities 124, how um, there is intense um, talk within each continent or each culture, but when we talk about Africa, it's only one lecture and one book and not a lot of in-depth um, conversation talking about Africa. Um, Africa is a huge continent. It's probably actually the biggest continent in the world and how can you talk about Africa in one day or one lecture. Um, so that's one thing that constantly comes up amongst um, my friends, um, my peers, um, some of my coworkers. Um, also, I'd like to talk about um, being um, a queer person of color on campus. So I identify as gay and gender fluid and I paint my nails and I love it. Um, and it's also a struggle um, because I don't find a lot of um, those students represented on campus at UNC Asheville. However, the greater Asheville community does um, contain a, a, a plethora of, of different people. Um, and it's great, however, considering that I've lived on campus for four years, um, I couldn't find that necessarily that safe space for me just to be around queer people of color and to discuss certain issues that are affiliated with us. Um, however, um, throughout my four years of being at UNC Asheville, I was involved with the Black Student Association. Um, I wasn't involved with that um, similar affiliate, affiliated group in high school because it, it, I just wasn't, it just didn't happen. However, um, I was approached by my friend, who, who is not my friend, um, um, who was the president of BSA my freshman year, and she invited me in and had a lot of fun. Um, and I, we just had our last meeting um, this past Monday, and um, it was great. I was surrounded by a lot of different people, um, not necessarily black students, but also different people that cared about the cause, uh, cared about the cause. And um, it was definitely a great experience, a lot of learning experiences um, that I've gained throughout that um, my four years with BSA, and I've gained a lot of different friends. Um, it was just a place to, um, I found individuals with the same mindset, um, not necessarily the same views. However, it was definitely a conversational um, to talk about our differences and maybe come into a conclusion as to where we can go um, with, uh, with our, so our conversations, dealing with different issues within the black community and the black queer community and the um, queer community of color um, and trans lives and black trans lives. And it's very interesting. Um, I definitely will cherish my four years at UNC Asheville I, I will miss it, um, that's an understatement, but um, was, I definitely had a great four years here. It, despite um, not, not having a lot of people of color on campus, 
I can say that is probably one of my um, favorite experiences, my favorite four years I've ever experienced. Thank you.